Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Um, today, if you didn't notice, I'm going to be eating Cheesecake Factory. Ah, I'm really excited. I've been wanting to do this video and I'm finally doing it. I found myself in Queens for work and it happened to be, hey, shout out to Elmhurst Queens, um, the Queens Mall, who has the best mall in my opinion because it reminds me of like a... In New York, you don't really have like good malls, even though New York is like a big mall, but like this one has like a Cheesecake Factory, a Shake Shack. It's such a good restaurant. So it's very, very rare that I go over there. And today I went. Um, so yeah, uh, I got a couple of things. I've got a lot of things um, in here. So first things first is, I can't wait, I haven't had this in forever. Um, the mac and cheese. The fried mac and cheese balls. Mmm. It has like cheese and sauce. <gasps> they smell so good. So I have those. Oh my gosh, you guys are gonna die. I have the factory nachos, which look insane. Luna loves them too. Open this up. <gasps> Whoa. Oh my gosh, you guys. Oh, the guac, the sour cream, the chicken, the pink pico de gallo, the cheese, the chips. Oh my god, they're homemade. I can't eat one yet. Um, I'm gonna move this out of the way. This is my cheesecake. Of course, I got cheesecake. I got dessert. I always say in my videos, like, I want to have dessert, and I always forget to get it. And um, let's put those here so you guys can see those. These here. Next, oh my gosh, my cat is eating sour cream. He can have it, it's fine. Next, I have dun, 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 pasta carbonara. Um, yum, this is so good, you guys. Bacon peas. Oh, it's like falling out of the thing. Um, and then I have another pasta carbonara that's not for me. <laughs> and then, um, oh yes, they give me utensils. Uh, let's see here. Utensils. And, um. And I also got, for dessert, cheesecake. So, I got, this is one of my favorite ones. Um, it, they have so many, it's so hard to choose. Um. This is a ras white chocolate raspberry. Ooh, look at the whipped cream. So, I'm going to save this. Actually... Yeah, I'm gonna save this for last. So, ooh, they got like, they gave me extra whipped cream, which is great. I didn't get the bread, I forgot to ask, but whatever. Um, so I'm glad I got that. So I'm gonna put this, I'm gonna put this this side for now. And I also have a Poland Spring today. Um, I'm out of Coke and I forgot to get a soda. I should have stopped drinking soda anyways. So I got Poland Spring. I'm such in a good mood, you guys. This is definitely not going to be a depressing video today. Mm, it's still so hot. Ooh. Yeah, so I had such a great week. I hope all, everyone did too. All of you guys out there are having a, it's had a great week or are having a great week or having a great day. Do you know I, I am? So what I like about this mall... Oh my God, I'm gonna take a big bite, right? I'm gonna stop talking, hold on. Mm. Come here. Mm. Punch me in the face for that, I hated that face. So, what I like about this mall, like I said, is like, most in New York, it's like a huge mall anyway, so like, it's kind of stores, but it's like, Overpriced stores like, um, like it's just like ridiculous. So like this store has like, um, JC Penney, um, PacSun. Like it's like the Middle America Mall, but like in Queens. But they have a cheesecake factory. They have a great food court. They actually just filmed. They they filmed Broad City there. So like, if you, any of you guys watched the one, the I think it's the most recent. It was. It was like the first episode of the last season oh look at this cheese and chicken and onion and oh that's a good one i got it with chicken so mm. but 
Broad City, the first episode when they go to like the Manhattan Mall or whatever. It actually fully wasn't the Manhattan Mall. It was a lot of. It's like in the food court and they like her friend from like high school or something like accuses her of like trying to kidnap a kid or something. But that was this mall with the Cheesecake Factory. Because if you think about it, the reason they film there is like less people, you know. But there's a lot of people at this mall. But mm. so yeah, and it's closer to you guys. So delicioso. My cats are fighting. Oh, stop. Oh my gosh. Hey. Hey. Luna. Oh my god, they're beating each other up. Mm. So yeah, this is their pasta carbonara. I usually don't order this, but I felt, I felt like it today. I usually got the Da Vinci, mm, the Da Vinci or the chicken marsala. Sometimes it's too oily though there. But, what else? Mm, let's try our mac and cheese balls. Mm. So they put sauce in this too, which is like, oh. Hard to break up. They're breaking apart. Mm. Mm. These are so good, so flavorful. They didn't have a cheesecake factory in Pennsylvania. Like we had to like drive to like Philly if we ever wanted it. Like I, um, it's, I feel like Cheesecake Factory is like a luxury. Mm. Mm. When I was skinny, I used to get their salads, but not anymore. Like she's short. No, no. So yeah, I picked this up. They don't deliver to my place. Obviously, people get out Postmates. Mm -mm. Not. That's too many jalapenos for me. Yeah, but this this one is too far. It was like. There wasn't that much traffic, but I found it to go. I had to wait like 20 minutes. They're really nice there, though. There's some lady there with me. And I don't know what was going on, but she was like freaking out about something. I think she like thought she placed an order and she didn't. And she was like still demanding her food and they're like, you didn't order. And she's like, no, I ordered online. And they're like, she couldn't pull up her online order or something. I'm just speculating, but I think that's what happened. And they couldn't help her because they're like proof that you ordered something because we don't have the order. I think she was being really mean to the workers. Which is, I never mean to, um, people, I, I, like, I don't know why, no, I'm, people in general, I'm not mean, but, I mean, if I go out to a restaurant or something, I don't understand how, or like to a store, I don't, I don't understand how people are rude. If you're rude, get off my channel. I 
I think people are just selfish. You know, they don't care about other people. Their loss. Mm. So there is another place in New York called the Sugar Factory, which they have in Las Vegas. I think they have it in LA too. But I feel like it's not as good. It used to be good back in the day. And you're like, you can go there and get these like big goblet drinks that hammered, right? I used to go there. I have one goblet and I'd get hammered. So I'd like drink two and I'd be like, I want to go out dancing, you know, that type of thing. I always want to go out dancing when I drink. <laughs> one mess, but it's called Sugar Factory. It's like a knockoff of the Cheesecake Factory. Same concept, huge menu. But they do elaborate drinks and a lot of like celebrity endorsements and stuff. And um, it's just, I don't know. I, I don't like it. The food's not as good as Cheesecake. Cheesecake has it down because I think Cheesecake's bigger. I just think they have a better system in place where um, Sugar Factory, the drinks kind of went downhill. Like it's mostly all sugar and less alcohol and just, oh, just not good at all. It's good if you, I feel like it's one of those things where like if you have like a birthday party, you want to go with a bunch of people, then it's a fun place to go to, but you have to have like a reservation, all this stuff. But I need to have one in LA. I've been really debating if I want to move to LA or not. Like, it's scary though because I've never lived like that far. But I feel like everyone in LA is like so happy. But it's, maybe it's because like I watch YouTube a lot and it's like all YouTubers and most YouTubers are in LA. Like, I've never watched a New York YouTuber, I don't think. Yeah, just, just LA. Maybe that's why. I think a lot of the reason too is like you always want change, you know? It's always nice to have change. I lived in New York now for not long, probably, what's going on, four years? Mm hmm. It'll be four years this year. I moved here right after college. I just got a job. Um, I sold my car and like I just put all my stuff in like a backpack like my grandpa was in the military he's retired now but he um he always had like a ton of these military backpacks so he gave me one that he didn't use anymore and um, it's huge like it's like one of those that you see the people that like travel I love it. It's just one of those. I just put all my shit in there. I got my apartment. I have three roommates. But I feel like if I move to LA, like you guys start all over again. It's just like I'm still young though. Like that's kind of why I want to still do it. Like I want to get out of my system so that when I'm like 40, 50, 60, 70. I'm like, mm, I should move to LA. I mean, I've worked in a career for the past 20 years. So, you know. I don't know. Maybe. We'll see. I went to LA probably this past November. Yeah, yeah it was this past November. And I had such a good time. I went to the Chateau with my mom. And I had such a blast. I was there until like two in the morning. <laughs> I didn't stay there. I like got an Airbnb in Echo Park. But it wasn't like a vacation. It was like a work trip, but it's still fun. I feel like everyone says like, oh, LA is so expensive. It, and so is New York though. I feel like it's like least exp less expensive than New York. 
<clears throat> Excuse me. Like where I live in, in Brooklyn, it's so expensive. Like most of Brooklyn's expensive, to be honest. It's like just as expensive as Manhattan. It really is. It's really difficult for people to live in New York without roommates. Like if any of you guys are thinking of moving to New York or like have stories of moving, like let me know, but it's, it's tough. Just because it's tough doesn't mean it can't be done though, you know. Mm, this is so good, you guys. Hi, Luna. Should I move to LA? Comment and tell me. LA or New York? That's what I want to know. I want to see what wins. I needed this. Mm. Mm. They should deliver it to my apartment, like, but I'm glad they don't. I've eat them so much. They're expensive. For all this, I paid like $91. That's what tip, but so that's two pasta carbonaras, uh, factory nacho with chicken, and fried mac and cheese balls. Mm. Yeah, oil, you guys. <laughs> so oily. It's so bad for you. Life's too short, man. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm hot. These lights are hot and I get hot when I eat. Mm. I want another cat, but I feel like um, three cats is like super excessive. My cats are like, po I, I feel like I probably talked about this in a previous um, video. But my cats are super op polar opposites. Like they're very, very close, but they're like opposites. So my first cat, Luna, I got him. <clears throat> Excuse me. And he um, was so, it's so, he really it still is like super social, like a dog kind of like He sings like when there's a knock at the door, he'll like go running um, to the door. He'll um, he just like if there's people over, like people who have never been here before, he's never seen in his life, he'll run up to them and like just super social cat. If like you have people hanging out, he's the cat that like. Lays in the middle of the floor, like, and chills with everybody. It's super chill. 
My other cat, Liam, on the other hand. So, backtrack a little bit. I felt bad because Luna would, my, I used to have a, um, a, this roommate at the time who would tell me that he would wait at the door for me, like almost most of the day, waiting for me to come home. And that used to like kill me. And I used to, I'm like really attached to my cats. So I'd be like, oh my gosh, like he's like so sad. And like, I had to spend time with him. Cause when I first got him, I didn't have a job. When I first got him, I didn't have a job. I was like in between jobs. So I um, spent a lot of time with him when he was a baby. And that's probably why um, we spent like every 24 hours together. Um, and he was spoiled, so when I had like a full time job, they used to say like he, I still have a full time job, but like they said he'd like wait at the door. I'm like, oh my god, it broke my heart. So when he was just turned a year old, I got my cat Liam on a whim, like it was last minute. I started, well, I thought flirt with the idea of getting another cat, but like, I didn't know if I wanted to. And I had a bad experience where I was visiting these cats through this company who was like a foster company. Like it was a company that like rescued cats, but they didn't have like a physical location. They had foster parents throughout the city and you would go on, I found them online and you'd visit a cat and then I would go see the cat and then like, oh, it bonded with the cat it was like staying with. And I'm like, okay, cool, I get it. Like it was this, I found this cat I liked. It was like a, um, she was so sweet. She was like a calico little um, kitten and it was a girl because I wanted to get a girl cat. I wanted to have a boy and a girl. Um, I ended up going and she was so cute. She was a little baby. Like she was shy and I was like, oh. So I put in an application and they're like, oh, they bonded. Um, but we have this cat for you. And I'm like, oh, okay, I get it. Like it was like, I was cute and I was like, Maybe it was a baby and actually did bond with the cat I was staying with and maybe the girl who was fostering and like wanted to adopt. I didn't really ask much questions. So a week or two later, I visited this other cat who was a female cat and um, this particular foster parent was fostering two of them and had one of her own. And the one of her own, it was like a 30 pound huge black cat, like super fluffy. I was like, oh my God, I'm gonna adopt that cat. But it wasn't, um, that was her personal cat. And she was just fostering these two kittens. There was a girl one and a boy one. And the girl one was very shy, but like, I just didn't mesh well with her. But when I got there, I meshed well with the boy one and he had no tail. Like he was a uh, orange tabby cat and he had his tail cut off. So he had a little stub tail. He was such a cutie. I probably still have a picture of him on my phone somewhere. Such a cutie. So I was thinking about it. I'm like, ah, do I really want this cat? And I'm like, I do. He was so lovable. He like laid in my lap. Was just like such a great personality cat. So I, told, I they already had my application. So I texted the guy and I'm like, hey. I'm like, I really um, am interested in this cat. Okay, cool. We're, we're going to work on it. We'll let you know. No way. Well, a few days past, like one or two days. I follow up with them. I'm like, hey, blah, blah, blah. Keep in mind, I've never met this guy before. Like, I've never, I never saw him. I just was texting with him. I never even spoke to him on the phone. And I was like, um, I just knew he had this email. No, I was texting, I was emailing him. He goes, yeah, yeah, yeah. We're still reviewing the application, whatever. Then he goes, I'm so sorry, but this is not typically like us, but this cat bonded with these two cats, the tabby and the girl cat bonded together, the foster mom said. I'm like, 
so they're trying to adopt them together. Do you want to adopt them both? And I'm like, no, I don't want to adopt them both. I'm like, I would love to, but I can't. Because at that time where I was, I did have a job, but I felt like I had, I had two other roommates and three cats. It would have been like horrible. So I'm like, no, I'm like, um, I'm not adopting one. I want to adopt I, two. I want to adopt just the one. And he goes, oh, well, we'll find out then. And then I'm like, okay. And then they said that they um, came back and they're like, they found someone who would adopt both of them. And I'm like, well, that's, I, I didn't even say anything mean. But I'm like, I'm sorry. I, I'm so happy they found a home of someone that would want to adopt them. I'm really happy for the cats. But I wish um, you guys hadn't, like, wasted my time a second time. And, like, it wasn't even wasting my time. But I, like, attached to that cat and I really wanted the cat. And I'm just like, I don't know. It was hurtful. So I kind of gave up on it a little bit. And then I, like, I would go to animal shelters and, like, animal rescues in Brooklyn, and I would look at the cats, and there was one cat there, I remember, who had needed eye surgery and had, had, had a bad eye, and only, the eye didn't have to be removed, but she had to have surgery and, like, had to have these drops and everything, and I was really debating, like, taking her because she was so sweet. And this was a no-kill shelter, and it, it was really sweet, and I wanted to get her, and then I decided against it because my cat that I have now, Luna, I didn't know how he was going to react to another cat at the time, so I didn't want to put that cat through more stress of, like, her eye being really bad and, like, getting the treatments for the eye and then having my other cat who I don't know is going to be well with the cat, and I didn't never seen him with another animal so i was like oh i did see him with another animal but i wasn't sure how he would react i had my cat around dogs before my cat loves dogs so so oh i need to have some cheesecake because i stopped eating so i'm gonna donate these i'll be right back cheesecake time but yeah to make a long story short i was looking at that cat i didn't get it the one with the eye. Oh no. And um, it was November of 20, so that was in the summer, that cat with the um, eye injury thing. Like late summer. And then in November of 20, it was right before Thanksgiving, I believe. So, Mmm, you guys, this is one of my favorite ones. Mm. So it's raspberry. They made a small piece, bitches. I don't know if you can see. Oh, yeah, you can see that. Yeah. Mm. So it's chocolate crust cheesecake. Raspberry, like, cheesecake filling jelly thing. Mmm, so good. And white chocolate, um, white, white chocolate, um, curls and whip, homemade whipped cream. I think it's homemade. It tastes like that royal. Mmm. So good. So, back to my story. It was November of 2017. November 2017. And there was a flyer. Someone posted a picture on like Pet Finder. These cats had been brought in by this saint of a lady in Brooklyn who noticed that the neighborhood bodega cat was running around carrying her kittens in the cold over like fences in their backyard. So the community got together and they caught the kittens and the bodega cat because the bodega closed down 
and they just left her outside and they brought her in and they brought the kittens in and they neutered them and everything and they thought that they were going to be put back put outside but the lady didn't want to put them back outside because she thought that was horrible and she didn't want to take them to a shelter so she had a dog who doesn't like cats so she kept them in her bathroom and tried finding homes for them and the mom was adopted and the brothers the siblings were adopted and like I said, I wanted a female cat. So there was a male and a female left because we answered the ad. And she said she had two left. And we wanted to go see the female one. And she's like, okay. So we went. And it was a whim thing. I was so nervous. Because I was like, am I going to get this cat? Because uh, I kind of, in my brain was like, is it responsible to get another cat? I just wanted to feel responsible and I didn't know if I was the right timing and all this stuff. Um, I um, ended up going just to see, check it out. Um, mm. We got there and there was just one cat and I was like, she's like, yeah, the girl cat, I think her name was Lilo. Which was a cute name. Um, was adopted and her parents picked her up. So it was just the one cat left. And he was a boy. And he, I think he was just super shy, she said. And he was like hiding when we came into the bathroom. And she's like, yeah, he's like super shy, blah, blah, blah. And we're like, oh, it's okay, it's okay. He was super nervous and he like ran away. And so we sat on the bathroom floor and the bathroom's so small. And she gets out the toys and we're playing with the toys trying to get him out and he comes out like slowly and she's like shocked by that and she was like oh my gosh like she was like actually surprised that he was coming out and he was just like playing with the toys and i touched his paw and he just gave me the dirtiest look ever and got so pissed off and i was like oh my god and she's like, yeah, he's so sweet. He just takes some time to warm up. And like, she's like, he lays on my chest and he likes the, his belly rubbed and all this stuff. And I'm like, is it, are you sure? Cause this cat is like so scared and like shy. And like, he got like pissed when I touched his box. I was like trying to pet him, he wouldn't let me pet him. He would just let me play with the toys with him, but he would not let me touch him. And I'm like, oh my God. So we stayed there for like an hour in the bathroom and I was like, eh, I don't know. And then I ended up adopting him. And it was the best decision ever. Right, Liam? Oh, yeah, that's him. Hey, Lee. Because he is such a sweetie pie. He doesn't like anyone, which I love. He, I have uh, my roommate even. Like, my roommate, he will not come near her. Well, he just like runs away from her. And he's always like that. He will not let anyone touch him, anyone near him but me. He loves to talk, he loves to cuddle, he loves to, um, that's just what he likes to do. He likes to talk, cuddle, and eat, and he yells at me. And he's like, he's like big, he's a big cat too. And um, he's such a sweetie pie. He's such an angel. Never attacked me once. Like, he doesn't like to be picked up, that's the only thing, but like, he never attacks, never bites, never would hurt a fly, which he's the complete opposite of my other cat, like who's very social, will attack your feet, bite you, yell at you. So they're a good compliment to each other. So I'm so happy I got him and that's the story of how I got my angel cat. And his name was, um, his name was Peanut when I got him. <laughs> I guess because he was a little peanut. <laughs> but. I'm a little cutie. Up, guys. It was a pleasure hanging out with you. I hope you had a blast. I hope you had a great feast. I hope you ate with me. I hope you drank with me. I hope you cried with me. I didn't cry, but. 
Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I know I did. I was dying for cheesecake. Don't forget to comment. Let me know what you guys want me to eat next. Comment to let me know if I should move to LA or stay in New York City. Comment to let me know how you got your animal. Um, comment below if you're having a bad day and just need a vent. Um, don't forget to subscribe, comment, share, do whatever you need to do. I'll talk to you guys later. Have a good one. Bye, guys.